What's good, y'all? My name is Jay. I'm an amateur YouTuber and graffiti artist. Uh, this is my new channel. Purpose of my channel is basically to teach people, show my style off, and to spread as much love for graffiti as possible. You know, I want to reach as many platforms and as many people as I possibly can. Uh, most of my videos can consist of uh, speed paintings, but today is actually my first voiceover. So, if you can hear the nervousness in my voice, please uh, bear with me. You know, like everything, you know, you need uh, rep repetitions to get better. Right? So uh, the video I'm going to be doing today is basically a video on letter structuring for a friend of mine on Facebook. Uh, this friend just basically asked me, hey Jay, how do I step my letters up? You know, how do I add extensions and, you know, things of that nature? How, how do I get to the next level, right? I mean, the guy feels he has a basic uh, style. Uh, you know, he just wants to learn how to add and, you know, basically make it a little bit more intricate. Um, first off, just a full disclaimer. I'm well aware that there are you know, plenty of ways to get this done and you know there are plenty of artists that are better than me. No doubt about it, right? There are some amazing people out there. I am not telling any one of you that this is the only way to do it, right? If you ask me, this is how I do it, right? This is not the only way. It's just the way that I do it, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to go through you know, a bunch of steps on how I do things and basically be step-by-step -step video, right? Um, how I do it. Again, this is just how I do it, right? I'm not telling you I'm right. I'm not telling you I'm wrong. I'm not telling you you are wrong. I'm telling you that if you come to my channel looking for, you know, basic tips or the way that I do things, this is what you'll find. I'm sure there's plenty of information out there. I'm sure there's plenty of other videos that will show you how to get things that I get done, done in probably a different way. It may not be better. It may not be worse. But it's just different, right? So the things we're going to be covering in the video today will be basic, basic letter structure, right? The importance of legibility, style consistency, flow of lettering, and then adding your extensions, flicks, and connections, right? After that, we'll clean the piece up, add a 3D effect, some inking lines, and then after we're done with the, with the course, we'll end up doing an entire piece using what you just learned in my basic lettering course, so to speak, right? Uh, then we'll do a conclusion and you know we'll, we'll be done with the video from there. Uh, again, this is my first voiceover, so <laughs> please uh, bear with me as you know we, we get through this step by step. Uh, this is actually a beautiful thing for me. I love to grow, I love to expand, and you guys will actually get to experience that with me from day one, right? Um, this will be the first video video I've uploaded, and who knows, in 10 years from now, people might be coming back to this video and saying, hey, you know, look where he started, you know, look look, look where time and life has took him. So, um, you know, just walk with me as we go through this, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get through this as quickly as possible. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe, uh, you know, ask as many questions as you can, you know. Comment as much as you can, you know, add me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, you know, I'll have links for all of that in my description. But uh, again, yeah, you know, just welcome to my channel. I, I, I'm extremely, extremely anxious to grow with you guys. I'm extremely anxious to show you guys my style and, uh, you know, how I get things done and just grow with you guys, right? I'm really trying to build an audience here, you know, try to get to the point where I can reach as many people as possible because... You know, that's what it's all about, spreading the love, spreading the, the knowledge that I have, you know, just all, all in all, just trying to help the, the newcomers, the, the rookies, and even the pros, you know, they might learn something from this too. So again, just my name is Jay. I'm an amateur YouTuber and graffiti artist, and this is how I get things done. So sit tight and enjoy the video. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to get into our basic letter structure. Uh, we'll discuss uh, key points. Um, first one being legibility. Uh, you want to make sure everything you write is legible. Right? It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, nobody likes sloppy handwriting. Nobody wants sloppy graffiti. Uh, you, you know, there's plenty of artists who do have a sort of sloppy style, and they, uh, you know, they hide it with vibrant, colorful fill-ins and 
super duper amounts of arrows, crazy 3D, ridiculous background. But, you know, I was taught by old school, you know, 1980s train era guys. And, you, know, you know, they beat it into my head. You know, the importance of this, you know, the original idea of this whole art form was to get known getting up right getting your name out there and if your name wasn't legible they wouldn't know what to call you they wouldn't know what to say so how would you get up right if you're running around telling people your name is doc but your tag looks like it says dog they won't even associate you with that tag right so you have to make sure that your lettering is legible and the way to do that is by uh, using simple basic letter structure and then adding on to it right so what i mean by that is um shout out to doc uh he's the original guy that uh, requested the video and this video is dedicated to him so salute to you my brother uh, i know you asked for this and this is me uh paying my due right so guy's name is doc Now this letter, this uh, this video is going to be dedicated towards letter structuring. Uh, but if you you know if you want me to do a video on uh, letter elements, which is basically a whole nother different conversation, then I can do that as well. Just drop a comment in the comment section, and I'll be more than happy to make that video for you guys if that's what you would like. Um, but uh, you know we're going to stick to letter structure here, and I'll explain things like. Uh, letter elements and things of that nature in a whole different video so you know moving on uh again uh everything is legible right clearly that's a d clearly that's an o clearly that's a c you know you, you have a good base a good form foundation you know, legible if i cut this in quarters it's going to take up more or less the same area space so the, the style of this of this piece would be uh what I would say uh, balanced or symmetrical. Right? That, that's actually one of the uh, key things to doing good art is uh, having symmetrical art. Right? So, if I cut this in quarters, you know, it would look more or less take up the same amount of space. So, now that we have the word, we have a basic, you know, outline, a basic, you know, something to build off of, a good foundation. Uh, we'll move on to adding things like uh, arrows connections, flips, things like that. So uh, we'll start off with the D. Um, you know, one of the things I want to try to get with you guys or get you guys to understand is uh, momentum of letters. Uh, imagine if this letter was moving consistently, right? Imagine if you wrote it in a handwriting style, right? First thing I did was go down, then I went around, right? So this would go down and this letter, this part of the letter, forgive me for not being a uh, politically correct or knowing proper terms for shit that, that's not really my bag right um like i said i you know i'm not classically taught i got no education and background in uh, art but uh it's more you know self taught so i'm gonna say a bunch of shit the wrong way there'll probably be a bunch of snobs that corrects me but whatever um but this area of the letter is obviously going to be flowing in this direction right so you want your extension to come off the same way right so cool. so that D extension came off of here right line off there so that's symmetrical that's symmetrical with that just want to keep lines flowing right now with this O you always want to be careful not to add too many things to the letter O uh, it will tend to make it look like something else so when it comes to the to the letter O less is more right so what I'll do with that is I'll add uh, maybe a extra shape there come off 
with the C for connection to come underneath the O, just for something for the O to sit on. But that'll be that'll be it for the O. Maybe fill in a little bit of that blank space there. So, not too sure what what people would call these shapes. I add them between my letters, uh, help fill up space, balance out the piece a little better. So, this little yamaka <laughs> looking thing up there. Uh, so for the O, you know, we, we won't go too crazy with the O. We want to make sure it's, you know, it looks like the letter O, right? So now we're at the letter C. And we want to come off. So again, it's coming like this. But I can't go up, right? If I go up, it'll make it look like an O. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play off of this corner. Do you see how this is coming off that way? I got that nice line to play off of. I'll come play off that line. We don't want now what we don't want to do is we don't want to go in right we don't want to go this way that's bad right that will turn this c into a g and it, and it will just basically uh ruin what i've just been trying to explain to you guys which is letter structure Consistency, man. I got an arrow going this way. I got an arrow going this way. I have an element here. I need to have elements there. You know, just want it to all match, right? We're gonna even all of this out, make it look like some. Right? Same deal. Right? So now we have a basic uh, piece to go off of. We have a basic outline. We've added our extensions and our flicks, and we're happy with what we have. So. Now what we'll do is we'll grab an ink, an ink and pen, and we'll, uh, you know, we'll add ink lines, get rid of some of these extra soft lines, and then we'll come back and discuss. So I'm going to do this in time lapse, and I'll be back with you guys shortly. Okay, so we're back now. Um, now we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna move on. Uh, as you can see, the piece looks basically a little bit more polished, more put together. Um, you know, you still have a couple of rough edges, but you know, as you add things and you know, you, you put your 3D and you, you, you ink it, you know, you, you do your final polishing, we can really make this piece pop. Um, so right now, I'm gonna take my red pencil I normally won't do this in red. I'd probably do it in whatever color I'm gonna do the outlining in, but just so you can understand how I do my 3Ds, you know, we'll move on to the 3D portion. So uh, what you wanna do is you wanna set up a, well, on this specific uh, 3D that we're gonna do, we're gonna do what they call a vanishing point 3D, right? So you get your circle, boom, put you a nice point, grab your ruler, and you just wanna put, Lines, right? All of your lines should basically point to your vanishing point, right? right? Same deal. All of your lines should go to your vanishing point. This should be your guideline, right? Now you'll come, you add your little.
out will come. Erase these lines a little bit. Get rid of them so they're not as pronounced. And I feel like this is a, uh, a good enough piece to, to build off of, right? So we'll give it a nice final outline. Nice and clean. I feel as you know this is a good enough base so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a filling of this piece um, but you know as far as starting the piece from a basic letter structure adding your flicks your extra shapes you know your arrows and whatnot you know this is a perfect representation of a basic style turned up one notch right so I wouldn't call this a wild style uh, more of a semi semi wild style kind of piece but nonetheless definitely a step above basics so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into a time-lapse I'll, uh, I'll fill in the piece if you guys would like a video of me breaking down how I feel you know do fill-ins and whatnot please leave that in the comment section and I'm sure I'll make that work for you so uh, we'll move on I'll speed this up into a time-lapse and I'll do a full piece. I'll get back with you guys and explain exactly what I went through, you know, what changes I made, if any, and I'll basically explain how, how it's gonna go. So uh, stick tight, I got you.
Okay, so there you have it. A very simple three letter piece, you know, semi wild style. Um, so I walked you through what I did. I basically used a uh, matching color scheme. Uh, we kept it more in the reds and the oranges and the yellows. Uh, you know, I added my highlights, I added my shadows. Um, you know, I tried to pick the best colors that complemented each other well. You know, such a simple piece, you don't really want to ruin it with, you know, very intricate uh, coloring schemes. It might take away from, you know, what you're trying to do. So, um, you know, the, the, there you have it, you know. Uh, this is the final result, the final piece. Piece de la resistance. <laughs> So, um, you know, if you guys enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you guys have any requests on videos you might want me to do, you know, single letter, wild style, a little bit crazier as far as, you know, adding in connections and things of that nature. Maybe you might want to take a piece like this and then move it up to the next level. You know, just let me know in the comment section. You know, I really appreciate the support from all of you guys. Um, I really do hope you like my work. Um, you know, I'm, I'm giving you what I got. So, I, you know, I, again, I, I just want you guys to take this journey with me. Uh, you know, I see big things in, in ahead in the future. You know, with consistency, I always get better. This probably will not end up being the greatest video. <laughs> but, um, you know, again, I just want you guys to bear with me and, 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 and you know, walk this path with me, right? Um, again, like and subscribe, negative, positive, leave your comments. Um, you know, just start the discussion, you know. Any questions, any requests, please don't hesitate to ask me. Uh, again, my name is Jay. I'm an amateur YouTuber and graffiti artist um, from Brooklyn, New York. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you and have a blessed day.